My day was terrible, even in my house, the night is as terrible as the day. Why is it that the time I'm about to leave and become my own boss that this task has to come? God, please help me with this contract so that I can leave for good. How has been your day? Fine ma. So, as we were discussing the other day about your son's waywardness, apart from every other thing that I told you we are going to do. The most important aspect is the spiritual work. Okay ma. You see the spiritual work, I have done it with several other people. And I'm very sure that we shall have a testimony about your son too. Amen. Thank you mama. Good day ma. And who are you? I am Raymond's girlfriend ma. I'm sorry I'm meeting you this way. Actually, Raymond promised that I was going to see you soon. Will you keep that your mouth shut? Now carry your two left legs and leave my house. I'm sorry ma. Sorry for yourself. Don't be angry mama. You see, all the children are the same. Even my son. Hello woman, we are done here. You can leave now. You are welcome. Thank you, MD. Gift. I understand what this phase means for your career, and also what your winning this contract means to your next level in life. So please, do your very best to win the contract for this company. But sir, this is such a huge contract with high competitive companies, I know what losing this contract means to the company. And I can't afford to start my own company as a failure. Gift. I know you can't fail. I mean, you have never failed this company. So go get the contract. Okay sir, I will like to take my leave now. Before you leave, this company promised to give you 30% of the profit from the contract, and also partner with you on the first three contract of your company. Wow, thank you very much sir, I will leave now. Wise one, you are welcome sir, it's good to see you. Thank you, how are you doing? I am fine, but I have told you several times, that you should not be stressing yourself under the sun to come and check on us. You should have just called me if you miss me or you have something for me. You are welcome sir. I actually had something important to do in town, so I decided to say hi. Or is that not okay? It's okay wise one, thank you so much for coming to check up on us. Thank God, how is that your god business that you are doing, or what do you call it? Wise one, it is called ministry. Oh, okay. And with your help, we are doing well. That's good. Thanks for standing by me. You don't need to thank me. You know I have told you to come to the village. More and more people that have lost hope in the God are coming. Really? Yes, by now, you would have made a name for yourself and your son. Wise one, talking about my son, Raymond is about to kill me. What is it again? What has he done? Raymond has a lot of bad behavior. Oh, Raymond is here, how are you my son? Good day sir, I am fine. You haven't paid me a visit in a long while, why is that? I'm sorry sir, I will come pay you a visit soon. That's fine, but make sure you come quickly. Okay sir, I will see you before you leave sir. Okay, take care. So, what offense did you say Raymond committed? He has a lot of bad behavior, just think of any bad behavior and my son will fit in. I have told you what to do about Raymond, just get him married. Then we would be able to manipulate his wife to make him anything we want him to be. Wife you said, wise one, Raymond has never come home with a good lady, he is fond of partying, getting away with prostitutes. I can't entrust the life of my son into the hands of those useless ladies. Boom, you said right but we can still do something. Just get me the picture of the lady that you want him to marry and leave the rest to me. Wise one, thank you so much, thank you for always having my back. It's okay. Let's go to the dinning, I will serve your food now. Alright. Miss Gift, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, but you should have called me before coming, to avoid this unnecessary delay, you know, I was busy when you came. It's really okay sir, I know you are a very busy man. But we can just go straight to the point. So regarding the proposal that we had submitted earlier, we still haven't gotten a response. You see, I have heard a lot about you and how much you have been able to achieve within a short while. That's really commendable. Wow, you've heard, it's God. Not only God, and grace, but gift. You know how things are run, if you cooperate with me, and allow me to have a good time with you your company would be awarded the contract. 
Sir, it's like you are mixing things up here, I will drop another copy of the proposal, in case you misplace the previous one, you can go through it sir. I know you are trying to play hard to get, but I can assure you, if you cooperate with me, you will get the contract. I will leave now sir. Please subscribe to this channel. Gift dear, you were telling me about the project manager who is to award the contract. What about him? Rebecca, you won't believe the project manager asked to get intimate with me before submitting our company's proposal. Wow, that's serious. You know, a month ago, I was so excited to get off totally with a good successful and clean record. Common gift, don't think too much about it, just see it as an additional testimony, which can be so hard to get. I don't seem to understand at all, getting really tired. You don't have to be tired at the verge of success baby girl. You just have to use this as a stepping stone. So cheer up and let's win this. Okay. Alright. Hi Mr. Chris, it's good to see you again. Look who we have here. Hope our proposal has been submitted sir. You still don't get the deal. I understand you perfectly sir, but all you need to do is, go over the proposal, submit it and let us move on with what next to do. Listen, you cannot teach me my job. See, I know exactly how you've been doing it all this while. But if you think for any second, that you can fool me the way you fool others, then you are making a very big mistake. Excuse me sir. Just use the same method you have been using, or am I too ugly or dirty for you? I'm out of here. Gift explained what she's been going through to Mama, her mentor. Is that why your face is like this? I have always told you that what my god cannot do, does not exist. You just have to trust me and all these things will end in praise. Mama, this is so frustrating, I should have left long ago, or rather, reject taking up this task if I had known Mr. Chris would be this tough. Did you let him know that you have a mama that is tougher? Oh, Gift, meet my son Raymond. Oh, the one from America. Yes. Mama, you should be told me he was around, I would have paid him a kingly visit. He got back just few days ago. Please pardon my manners, my name is Raymond. Raymond, I've heard so much about you. From how you were able to do so well at school, your outstanding performance, you went for your PhD and you were retained. Wow, it's so amazing to finally meet you. Yeah, Erm, thank you. I was on my way out. Gift, I will give you a keg of well-prepared water and some Bible references when you going. Well-prepared water? What is it for? Don't be surprised, they are scriptural, what you will do is to read the Psalms into the water. And any time you want to bath, you will put a little of the water inside your bathing water and that would be all. You will testify. Okay, thank you so much ma. You're welcome. My daughter, what about your picture that I asked you to bring along? I'm so sorry mama, I forgot. You know what? You know now we are in the tech age, I'm just going to send you the soft copy from my phone. That's fine as well, went it to my WhatsApp immediately. You know why. Because I am embarking on a spiritual retreat, I need to pray for my sons and daughters in the Lord. Alright, I've done that already. Oh, okay. Gift wasn't cool with what Mama asked her to do, so she told her friend, Rebecca about it. Oh, really? Good for you. You have something to think about, I am really blank. I have a question for you. Are you used to this? You know, Mama has been my mentor for so long, after I gave my life to Christ, my mom introduced her to me as her personal prophet. And ever since then, she's been the one guiding me. Remember David in the Bible, when he got to the battlefield where Goliath was threatening the Israelites. He presented himself before Saul with his testimony, Saul thought of how to help the small boy, so he gave him his armor. But it was too heavy for David and he was not comfortable with it. Because he was not used to it. My question is that, are you comfortable with this? No. So what are you comfortable with? Fasting, praying with the word of God and joining hands together with you in faith, you know, this is different. Whatever happens now has an impact in the next phase of my life. I can't do what Mr. Chris is saying, it's against my belief and it is against God. What did Mr. Chris say? He thinks I am like those girls that do have their ways with him, can you imagine? He asked that I use the same method that I have been using to get the contract. The guy is not as dumb as I think he is. What do you mean? He asked you to do what we used to do to get our contracts right. Yes. 
And that's exactly what we will do. Let us pray. Raymond, where are you coming from? Where have you been? Don't I have the freedom of movement in my father's house? And by the way, what was that stunt that you pulled this afternoon with gift? What was all that? I see you still need to be spoon fed. You see that gift, she is a very beautiful, intelligent lady, and on fact, she is very wealthy. She is a goal getter and achieve anything she sets her mind to do. And me, I am your wayward son, isn't it? The one that stole his father's money, ran away from home, got involved in drugs and jailed for five years in America. Is that not? Why do you have to say otherwise about me to gift? You have brainwashed the innocent girl, it's better you leave me alone. Why is it so hard for you to embrace a better life? Can't you see that I'm trying everything possible to ensure that you become relevant in life? Mum, don't worry about me, you have a lot more to worry about. Worry about that your beautiful apartment that you have been working so hard to get in hell. How dare you speak to me in that manner? I dropped Gift's phone number and address I'm your room, just call her, so that she can help you find a good life. And remember, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, don't bother about who run into it, use that name, and have a relevant life. Gift received a message from her friend Rebecca about her conviction that the contract matter is settled. Rebecca is such a wonderful friend. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus for the victory. Thank you Lord, thank you Father, thank you. Gift went back to the company that is to award the contract. Fortunately for her, she met the son of the company's CEO at the reception. She thought he was the new receptionist. Hello Christy. How are you feeling now sir? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Thanks. Please, I need you to do something for me. I want you to go to my dad's office and pick up a very important document. I'm not still feeling too well. I can't go out there right now. So, I've called Stephen to take you there. But sir, Mr. Chris, the project manager is not around, and Matthew has gone out for lunch. Okay, that makes me the receptionist of the day, right? If you don't mind, sir. All right, just go, I will wait here for you. Okay, sir. Good day, I'm here to see Mr. Chris. Are you the new receptionist? Because I used to meet a female receptionist before now. Yes, for now. I actually prefer a male receptionist doing justice to the job. Actually, Mr. Chris is not on seat right now. Would you like to drop a message for him? Sorry, I'm guessing you have a cold. Don't you think you need a day or two off to take care of your health? And who takes a day off? Few minutes after taking the job of a receptionist. Health is wealth, you know. Mr. Chris, do you want to see him? I'm even tired of seeing this man, I've been submitting the same proposal for the longest of time. I don't know if you can help me submit it to the people at the top. Well, only God is at the top ma, but, I will deliver your message. Thank you so much. Gift, having a dream. She could not see the face of the man in her dream. Starting a new business could be hard, you know, from knowing what you really want to do, to structuring short and long-term goals. And then, most importantly, knowing the right people to work with. And then to getting your very first job. Getting your very first job is quite exciting, but it's not an easy path, you seem to know so much about one's businesses. Well, that's because I've been there before, and all I can say is that, you should trust God with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. And he would direct your path. Okay. Gift's phone rang and woke her up from her dream. She received the good news of her company, winning the contract. Gift on a call with her friend, Rebecca. Congratulations dearie, I got your text. I tried calling you earlier, thank you so much girl, I wanted you to be the first person to hear the good news. Oh, that's so sweet of you, I'm so excited right now, indeed, there is nothing too hard for God to do. But wait. Did Mr. Chris later submit the proposal? Do I need to make a research on how God did it? That's true, ours is that, he has done it. So where are you? We need to celebrate. I'm actually on my way to Mama's place, I called her already. Okay, my regards to Mama. Alright, later. You see my daughter, I have always told you, that there is absolutely nothing my God cannot do. That you shouldn't be scared, I believe you did everything I asked you to do, about the water and the Bible references. 
That is why we are here celebrating. Mama, I brought some items for you Ma. Your maid took them from me on my way in. Thank you so much for standing by me. Let's give all thanks to God. Who are we? I'm so glad you got that contract. Good evening Ma. Good evening Raymond. Congratulations Miss Gift. Oh, thank you so much Raymond. How did you know? You see, since the last time you met, Raymond has always been asking after you, checking up on your welfare. And in fact, when the pressure was getting unbearable, I told him to get your number from me, but he declined. Well, there was no way I could have gotten your number from her. I mean, if you and I are going to be friends, I should be man enough to get it from you. Well, instead of asking Mama and disturbing her about me, you should have asked me. But we are here now. I will get the number now. So, maybe lunch or dinner sometime soon. Oh, I have a lot to do, I'm actually trying to build my new company, so I've been really busy. Wow, I would be glad to help, if you don't mind. Wow. So, maybe lunch then. Lunch, that sounds great, okay. Let's have lunch. I will look forward to it. Alright. It's good to have you here. Thank you wise one. I hope you are doing what I told you to be doing on that young lady's picture. I have seen Gift as a perfect woman for my son, and I can't joke with that. You know. That's good, because, I have completed work on that picture. All her desire will be for your son. If she is sleeping, she will dream of your son. If she is awake, she will think of him. I have sorted her in a dark room. All her emotions will revolve around Raymond. Okay wise one, thank you so much. What can I do without you? It's okay, I have done nothing. But there is a warning, and they are two. First, that girl must never know the truth about your god's business or what do you call it? My ministry. Exactly, and secondly, you must keep her very close to you. Okay wise one, thank you sir. Say me well to Raymond. Okay sir. Rebecca, this dream won't let me be. What I don't seem to understand about it is that, it's an empty dark corner. A place where I'm the only one who seems to know about it. Yet this man that keeps walking in seems to know so much about me. And his words really command success. And I can't get to see him. How can you get to see him when you are in a dark corner? And come to think about it, it is a place where you feel only you knows about. And this man is always there with the details of your life. Then, what is God saying about your marital status, maybe someone is on the way. Maybe a soulmate is somewhere. Talking about soulmate, I think there is a click. Oh, so you've started something behind me. No. Then tell me something. You know Mama's son, Raymond, he seems to like business, I like business too, he loves what I do. And he is also a devoted Christian. I'm beginning to think, probably, he is the man in the dark room in my dream. The corner is your heart, and as dark as it is, you can imagine how perfect a man that you've not asked God about. And someone who hasn't proposed to you. Okay fine, I haven't heard from God yet, but a man that asked me out for dinner, I think he has something to say. Okay, I trust you will do the right thing. Gift, I know you don't really know me, but you know my mom. So trusting someone like me should not be an issue here. And besides, I've been praying to God about the kind of woman I should get married to. And the moment I saw you, I just knew it was you. Wow, I mean, you were right, I actually don't really know you, but I have a God that knows you better than I do. I don't know if you can give me some times to pray about it. Yeah, of course, praying about it is not a bad idea. But you can just get back to Mama, so she can tell you how good I am. Really, are you boasting now? Not at all, all I am saying is, I've come in abundant husband material. It's okay, I will pray about it. Oh, it's Mama that is calling me. Hello Mama. Good afternoon Ma. Good afternoon my daughter, how are you doing today? I've been quite busy of late, I wanted to come see you, but I've been very busy. Oh yes, I understand you're busy. How are you doing, how is work? And I hope all is well. Am as well Ma, I wanted to talk to you about Raymond. Okay, that's why I'm calling you too. You know, Raymond told me about you and I gave him the go-ahead to speak with you. I can't propose for him you know. Yes ma, I told him that I will pray about it. Yes, that's good, pray about it. But don't be scared to give him a yes. 
You see, I have known about this for a while, and I can confirm to you that God is involved in this. And it is his perfect plan for you to get married to my son. Raymond. Okay ma. God bless you my daughter, have a beautiful day. Hope to hear from you soon, and my regards to everyone. Alright ma. What was that about? Mama wants me to consider his son's proposal. And you, what is God saying? I'm still on it, but I'm kind of confused. And why are you? It is still a very dark corner. Really, God is not an author of confusion. You just need more time in the place of prayer. And it is very important for you to shut out every human assumptions and words, so that you can hear God yourself. Thank you so much my friend. What can I do without you? You can cook without me, so go and cook something for us to eat. You are funny, I will be right back. After Rebecca left that day, Gift had a dream about Raymond. In that dream, Gift got engaged to Raymond and they agreed to go somewhere. But on their way, Raymond took the route to another destination when Gift made an attempt to stop him. He stopped the car and left her stranded on the road. Immediately, she woke up from the dream. Thank you Jesus for this revelation, thank you so much for the deliverance. Thank you Father, thank you Lord, thank you. So, you dare say it to my face that I don't hear God. That was not what I said Ma, I only said that God has not given me the go ahead to marry your son. Okay, that means, if it is hard for me to hear you that is human clearly, then how can I hear from God? After all I have done for you, the prayer, the fasting, the teaching, and the guiding, you have the guts to reject my son's proposal. And you say it to my face that I don't hear God. I'm so sorry Ma. Gift, get out of my house now. When you are ready to do as God has directed me, then you can come back. You ingrate. Wow, I was lost in my imaginations. Going to Mama is such a bad idea, I've never seen her angry before, and I don't want to see her be. Please God, what do I do? I will call Raymond to meet me at our usual spot. Raymond, you are actually a great guy, and your mother, she is such a wonderful woman. I mean she's guided me since I was a kid, and I really appreciate her. I think I have told her that if I could buy the world for her, I definitely would. Well, she deserves it and I deserve better. You know, the word of God says in Amos 3.3 that, can two work together, except they agree. What do you mean? I know your mother sees me as a great lady, and I know that she seems to want me as her daughter-in-law. But can we now because of this, ruin the plan and purpose of God for our lives? You have to speak in a language that I understand. I have actually been praying about you, and the answer God gave me was that you have to mend your ways. I think it's something you should know better. But the answer to your proposal is no. What? Raymond, so you have been drinking and smoking, what if I was coming with any of my spiritual daughter or even gift? Is this how you will embarrass me? You need to stop using my life as an excuse for your failure. I see you are drunk. So stop spilling rubbish. I am trying for the first time in a long while to see you as my mother, but what is it bringing forth, disaster? Okay, tell me what is expected of a mother that I have not done for you. I will tell you what you have done, so much rubbish. Your gift has said no to my proposal, and I have fallen in love with that girl. No, no, that's not possible. I give you till my next birthday, it's either I have that girl, or you lose me. Raymond, are you threatening me? You didn't tell me you would be coming, hope all is well. Wise one, all is not well. It's about Raymond. What happened to Raymond? He wants to kill himself simply because that girl turned down his marriage proposal. Wise one, you need to do something fast. The girl said no. Yes, she said no. Impossible. Did you do everything the way I instructed you to do it? I did everything wise one, you really need to savage the situation. In that case, you have to go and come back after two days, I will prepare a concoction that you will use. But in the meantime, I will call Raymond and talk to him. Alright, thank you wise one. Dad, my friend is here, she needs you to shed some light on what she's going through. She is so lost in the world of confusion right now. Okay, you are welcome my daughter. Thank you so much sir. So what exactly is God saying to you about this matter, it is very important that you hear God clearly. There may be prophets around you, but it is important that you hear God yourself, because, some of this prophets say things that are in their mind. So you have to tarry in the presence of God, then he will speak to you, 
and also shine light upon every dark spot in your heart. Because, darkness is the absence of light, so you need to have the light of God to lighten the darkness in your heart. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen, upon you. Verse 2 says, Darkness will cover the whole earth, and gross darkness, the people, but for you, it's different, because the glory has come upon you. If you pray and believe, it will happen to you, and you shall testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Gift prayed that night and was able to see the man in the dark room, but the person she saw surprised her. I am tired of this dark corner, let the light of God come upon me. The Bible says I should arise and shine, because the glory of God is risen upon me. I decree, light come, my light has come in Jesus' name. Is God really joking? This is someone that works as a receptionist at Chris's office. The man in the dark room was way better than that. He was still the one, just that your heart was crowded. He was sound in business and also in business. Are you now blaming God for lightening your path and heart? No, I can't blame God. If I was able to oppose Mama, then, you know that I believe what God has said, and I know that his plans for me are good. I will stick with that. Our God is faithful, and he will never disappoint us. Good afternoon Ma. Good afternoon, so you are back. I've always been here Ma. Really. But I saw a man here. A man, maybe someone stood in for me when I was not around. Okay. So your GM asked me to be here. Just go straight Ma. The first office to your right is our GM's office. Alright. Thank you. Wow. Don't be surprised. Please come and have your seat. Now let me introduce myself to you. My name James. And I am the general manager of Marvin's investment company. Wow, and I mistook you for the receptionist. So what were you doing at the counter the other day? You know, it was a pleasure experiencing what Ruth goes through every day at the reception. And thanks for the other day too, for your care and advice. Thank God, thank you also for handling our proposal. Oh, that, I was only doing my job. I was wondering why I didn't get to see the proposal before then. If I had, I would have picked it. Your experience and successes is amazing. Thank you, sir. So, the reason I called, I called your company and your MD told me that you no longer work with them. So I decided to reach out to you just to say, well done. Thank you, sir. I had to leave because I am starring a new company that I needed to work on. Wow, that's great. You know, it's a new and interesting world entirely, and it can be frustrating at a time. But those who wait upon the Lord shall keep renewing their strength. Wow, that was so refreshing. Thank you very much, sir. You know, we are no friends, and you can just call me James instead of addressing me with sir. Okay, James, thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for having me here, James. You don't have to thank me. All I know is that, all is well. I know that all is well, and I'm just really grateful to God for his faithfulness and how he has ordered my steps. Although I am yet to understand why and how he wants us to go about it, but all I know is that, I'm saying yes to God's will. You say yes to God. I don't understand. James, I'm saying yes to your marriage proposal. Oh my God, wow, gift. Do you mean what you just said now? I mean it. Jesus, I'm so happy, you see, gift. We might not know it all, but one thing I know for sure is that, God's ways are always perfect. He is our Emmanuel, He is always with us, you know right? Yes I do. Oh my God, thank you Jesus. Guess what, I have a good news for you. Okay, did you win a new contract? No, I actually just finished seeing James now, and I SAAISD yes to him. Wow, this is great news, I'm so happy for you. That's not all, when I said yes, I just felt like something was brightened, now I feel peace within. That is God, but, I think you need to get things cleared with Raymond and Mama. Or what do you think? Sure, I will. In fact, I will go there right away. Thank you so much for all the goodies my daughter. I'm so grateful, thank you. You deserve it and much more. May God bless you abundantly, and you shall never know lack. 
Amen. Mama, I'm here with some good news for you. Good news. I'm all here's. Tell me something. Okay, I'm engaged to married. Glory to God. Wow. You these children. You didn't even bother to tell me anything. Even Raymond. He didn't bother to tell me. He did not brief me about all this. But I'm so glad to have you. Thanks you mama. I will bring him to see you soon. I'm confused here. Bring him to see me. Yes, I don't think you know him. His name is James. James, but first thought you had something with Raymond. Oh no, we're just friends. Just friends. Anyways, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. This is mysterious. This has never happened before. And you are sure the girl ate the concoction? Yes wise one, she did. Then she suddenly showed up to share the news of her getting married with me. Mama, will you listen to me? Yes wise one. Why don't you look for another lady for Raymond to marry? Let's just leave this girl alone. Or what do you think him? Wise one, you see that lady. She is a very decent lady, I've so checked her glory, I see brightness all over her, she is endowed with so much goodness. And with her level of seriousness, I know she can help my son get a future. Save me wise one, do something about this issue, I know you can do it. Okay, that means means, we have to take her case to a deeper level. Exactly. Will Raymond agree to follow you here? That's a minor case, he will definitely follow me, after all, he knows about everything I'm doing, and moreover, he is deeply in love with the girl. Then it is settled, we shall do something about it. Thank you wise one. You will have to come back in a few days, I have to arrange some things. When you are coming, come along with Raymond and the girl's picture. Also, prepare to spend the night at the shrine. We will do as you have instructed, thank you wise one. Mum, how was the place you went to? What did the wise one say? He said we should come tomorrow, that every preparation would have been concluded. Good, I can't wait to deal with that girl called Gift. She will end up being mine. Exactly, after tomorrow, she will not only end up being your wife and the mother of your children, she will end up as your slave. The next day, about the same time the ritual was going on, James started feeling restless about Gift, so he divided to pray for her. The ritual backfired and the wise one died at the spot. Mama and her son, Raymond were rushed to the hospital where they eventually confessed to Gift and seeked her forgiveness. James and Gift got married and lived happily ever after. Thanks for watching, drop your comments in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel, like share and don't forget to turn on the notification bell.